Welcome back. Let's continue where we left off, shall we? As we play the game, Rockwin. Where did we leave off? I seem to remember us finding the book Rockwin after having encountered an old man in a secure section of the hospital. Oh, and then we were visited during the night by Yami. And somehow now we're awake again. And, oh, that's right, we had met with Mom here. And Mom assured us that we could go places. And that there was a connection between Rockwin and, uh, Oh, that's right, and to talk to Mom, you'd hit the Q button. So how are you? When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. Yeah, let's go find the door, shall we? Um, nice origami hat. How come I'm the only one who has an origami hat? Looks like somebody left me a note. Let me quiet the volume just a touch here. Let's read the note. Break me, and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I will always smile back. Figured you might need this in writing. There's something crazy where I live. I hid something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while, and maybe you can find it. Uma. Alright. Wait, if I go this way... Okay, it's just me. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. It looks like someone's hidden something behind the mirror. Well, let's take a look, shall we? You found Uma's key. Also, I forgot I voice acted this last time. Alright, so we found Uma's key behind a mirror. your detective work coming along. Find any good leads? Yeah, I don't remember any of the voices I used last time. We'll try to make do, but... Um... Oh, hot coffee is still restocking soon? According to the shift leader, they need to wait for the shipment to arrive. <laughs> Moonwalking. <laughs> That's funny, he was walking to the right? And I encountered him walking from the left, and as I encountered him, I hit the enter key to make us engage in conversation. So, he was walking to the right. As we were engaging in conversation, he turned around and started moonwalking to the right. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. It's good to walk around now and then. Walking's good for your circulation. Alright, so I have Uma's key, but I don't know if that's what the doctor's looking for. There may be more than one key at play here. I forget where I left off last time. So here... Oh, let's open this cabinet. A soup ladle that's caked with mud is laying upon, atop old medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the ladle. No, let's... Yeah, okay, we'll look underneath. We found 5G. Games tend to reward you for doing things as opposed to not doing things. It appears there's a tunnel... Oh, that's right. There was the tunnel. And if we had the right tools, we could get through there. And, yeah, these are instructions regarding Kisaburo, who stands there on the right. Or is laying in bed at the right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the last little bit. Someone etched something to the edge of the bulletin board. Why am I I I? Why am backwards is M Y. Hey there. Need something? What are you drinking? Huh? Does it smell that bad? It's a new kind of tea I'm experimenting. With. Nurses don't seem too thrilled about me drinking experimental things. But I don't care. Folks here don't seem thrilled with a lot of things I do. You need something? Uh, hear about the thief? 
I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through the bear. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. Uh, yeah, tell us about- oh, that's right. That's his character trait, or that's one of his character traits. I appreciate that, that like, not every character fits in this cookie-cutter mold. Kisaburo is just not one for gossip, I appreciate that, really. I forgot that last time we encountered him it said the same thing. So yeah, he intended to make a hole in the ceiling in the construction zone, he was digging in the mud, and we saw in the left drawer there, there was a ladle covered in mud, no? Um, so everybody has their challenges in this world, and that's fine. Um, we try to help people with their challenges. So, but what's you? Or who are you? I'm telling you, the things I end up doing around here, they don't teach you in nursing school. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna set aside my remark. Those plants look like they could use water. Those are the rest of my little worlds. Do you want to know about any of them? Sure, what about the green one? That planet's like a really big forest. The trees are so dense, you can't even see the ground. There's a really big tree in the middle. See? He watches over everyone and keeps them safe. Everyone's acting mean or crazy. The big tree will put them in a cave until they calm down. So you never have to worry. How about the purple shiny one? We can't go to this planet anymore because it's polluted. See all the purple stuff in the air? It started coming out of the ground. And now it's hard to breathe. Maybe someday we can clean it up, though. It used to be a very nice place. Okay, what's about the shimmery blue one? This is the paradise planet. It's like a really big, beautiful ocean where everyone can go swimming. The water's special because even humans can breathe while they're inside it. My friend and I swam here all day. We never wanted to go home. Oh, I was intending to talk to Sue directly. Did you make your hat? I can only make two things out of folding paper. A box and a crane. That's still pretty good. Heh. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Not really. I heard that they stole food from the cafeteria. It makes me wonder. What if that person was just hungry? Couldn't find food anywhere else? I feel bad for them. I don't talk to people that much here. Winston's wife had been in a coma for a long time. There's a word missing. Winston's wife's or Winston's wife has been in a coma for a long time. The doctors don't know when or if she's gonna wake up. It's really sad, you know. Sometimes I hear Winston say things to her, even though she's asleep. He apologizes a lot and asks, Can you hear me? I don't talk to people that much here. Cora's one of the older kids, so she's more brave. Don't tell her I told you this, but Cora told me that she's been, parts to the been to parts of the hospital that kids aren't supposed to go to. 
think she's even seen the staff room. The staff room? Shh. Sorry. What do they keep in there? Lots of diet soda. How about Danielle? Danielle's going to make me a new toy. I haven't had a new toy in a long time, so I'm very excited. I don't talk to people that much here. Oh. Yeah, so we encountered Danielle in the cafeteria last time. She's a teenager, I believe, that volunteers or is doing some sort of service at the hospital. On the side here we see Winston and his wife uh, still in a coma. It's quite sad. I do like what Sue said there about the thief that had stolen food from the cafeteria. Because many of us would think to judge a thief immediately, but Sue is kind of innocent. She's like, well, what if they were hungry? And tries to rationalize it in this way. And it, it's funny, because when we had encountered the thief uh, last time, then it turned out that, like, at least on the face of things, yeah, apparently they're quite hungry, they're trying to get things back to normal, and they want to pay and make things work as soon as they possibly can, but they need to sustain themselves, too. I don't understand why they resorted to thievery, but, yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate. It really is. How are you doing today? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic pass? Yes, we've actually talked about this. Sorry, I forgot. Recently, I noticed that one of the devices has been turned on. Uh, who did you tell us about? I think you, last time I asked you about everyone as well. Yeah. But we pray for recovery. Of course we do. Is this Jackie, is it? Or is it Jack, or what was it? Jackie with the Y. I was like, I thought it was Jackie, but Jackie is not normally a guy's name. Uh, but no, this is Jackie with the Y. Uh, do you hear about the thief? Oh, yeah, so... Yeah. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages all over the place. Last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. Pretty sure they weren't staff. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone we forgot to ask him about? No. Um, so yeah, I'm confused. We got Uma's key, and I don't know where to go with Uma's key. Cora wouldn't be able to tell us, I don't think. These people over here seem a bit anxious. What about this doctor? I heard you have a pretty tough time, a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, alright? You're doing great. Alright, so... I... What do I do with Uma's key? Because, like, there's a doctor off to the right. Um asking for a key, and I think we're looking for some connection to Rockwell. Or some, um, some way to Mordorzora's forest. Uh, but I'm more than a bit confused. Well, I could ask Mom for a hint. The game does have an in-game hint mechanism, but I'm curious. Hey there! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? Um, we asked him about a lot of things last time, too. Does Danielle have any new text for us today? Um, yeah, we actually asked Danielle about everyone, too, last time. Alright, so... Alright, I need to ask Mom for a hint, because I'm stumped. Your friend's letter so there's something crazy where he lives. Do you remember where he was living? Was it somewhere in this hospital? If 
friend's letter. Oh dear, I've forgotten more than I thought. Um, I mean, there's one person that we know lives somewhere in the hospital. But that was behind the passcode door, no? Surely we're not... Yes, yeah, so... Surely we're not uh, breaking back in through the construction area, right? Are we are breaking in? Oh, okay, yeah, the... Wait, I see, this gate got stuck in front... Oh no, never mind. All these doors are still open. Mom is totally cool with us being a rebel like this. I don't remember going to the right last time here. Oh, uh, goodness. Yeah, this is the tunnel. If we had the right tools, we could get through. Okay. Mom? Where are we? I'm not sure. Well, let's go back. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is so strange. Mom? The Rockwind Key! bugging me I didn't visit the other path on the way here. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's what the Rockwind Key has done. That's incredible. Quite literally. Like, how do you believe such a thing? What, uh, what is it that we're seeing here today? Oh, wow. Mom? Hmm. What do we make of this? I don't want to be here anymore. That's something we said the other day, too. That the hospital, while it's a restful place for many, is not a place a person wants to be forever. I know, dear. But you know what? What? Now that you're the keeper of the key, you can go anywhere. Even to Morisara. To ask him for a wish? If that's where you want to go. Can we go together? Of course. Well, shall we? Okay. Wow, we're such a rebel. <laughs> Diving through. Oh, wow. Whoa! What the world? How'd you get in here? We just came through the door behind us. There's no door behind you. Yeah, there is. I think the tall creatures must have hit their heads in the storm. They're talking crazy. I don't know how they got here, but maybe we should help them. You see, you must be lost. I've never seen you around Morizawa's forest before. Yes, this is our first time here. Oh, so you're a tourist then. I guess you could call us that. But we know all about this place. We read about it in our book. A book about us? Yeah. I learned about the forest and the paradise world across the sea. You mean Rockwood? Yeah! That's wonderful. 
Is there anything you like to do while you're here? Well... I've always wanted to meet the great forest guardian Morizara. Ah, Morizara. He lives in a cave just northwest of this village. But I hear he's been sleeping for a long time. It's not easy to wake him up. Anyways, this is the Liebel Village Inn. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And let us know if you need anything. What interesting looking creatures. Did you notice when they turned around? They didn't have tails! Shh, it's not nice to talk about others behind their backs. Or about their backs. <laughs> hey! Sorry, I meant no harm. Just never seen anything like it, that's all. <laughs> it's kind of cool how they have their own little side conversation. Face full of flowers. Hmm. And there's flowers up here too. Flowers that are bigger than your head. All of these? A small, fragrant flower. Flowers that are also bigger than you. Wow, what kinds of flowers might these even be? Like, this sort of looks... I don't know, like a tulip or something, but then these might be roses, or I don't know. So we have a bed in the middle room. Uh, oh, another bush. A healthy house plant. Let's check this out. Oh, I see. So the bed's not interactive. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! You know... Hmm... Yeah, I thought so. I wondered, but no, it's seriously... It's weighing on me. What was down this path? Was this the place we went last time? Wait. Oh! Oh! This is boys' room, isn't it? Yeah. Wait a second. Oh, right. This opened up last time as our shortcut to get back here. Okay, sorry. That would be weighing on me for the next hour or something if I didn't go look at it. So, I'm the keeper of the key. I can go where I want. <laughs> Sorry for the plot interruption there. That was just bogging me that I forgot what the door is for. Wait, are these donuts? The note next to the tray reads, Hanky's Sela Berry Donuts. Oh, Sela Berry. Sela Berry. Shank Chef Hanky's donuts are the best. Welcome to Leave Lynn. Would you like to sleep here? Sleep? Oh, never mind. That was a yes, not a question. Okay. You awake, fully rested. Save your game. Sure. Why not? Um. So, what's it like not having a tail? Do you fall over a lot? Well, funny story. You know, as a kid, kids fall over until they learn to walk really well. So, actually, kind of, yes. But, hey! Oops, sorry. I mean, how, uh, are you? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but I, maybe a tail does help an animal balance better. Or a villager balance better than a human. Maybe. If you're looking for Marizora, he lives in the big cave northwest of the village. As you told us. Okay. Recently, the water levels were getting dangerously low. So the great water dragon, Stormy, moved here to fix things. Now we have all the water we could possibly need. So, okay. I see. <laughs> That's so cute. The Liebel... I don't know. I suppose anything with large eyes and exaggerated features is going to be somewhat cute, isn't it? But no, the the coloring, the pastel 
as well as the garments, really get our nice touch on this. Wait, is this some sort of sign or bookcase or so oh. It's a carpet? I guess this is kind of oh wait, I cannot move up here. Nor can I go down into this. But I can stack myself. Yeah, I don't know what that is under my head there. But it's something I can't walk through. That's a table. Oh. Okay. Also, if you've seen Farmer in the Sky, Laura Shigihara's video series, you might recognize parts of this house. Like, I seem to remember there being something of a kitchen on the one side, and then some tables and some donuts. Um, and I think even a window that looks like that on the top there. So I would encourage people to go look at um, Laura Shigihara's Farmer in the Sky series on YouTube. It's beautiful and wonderful. Oh, wow. Wow. All right, so this is the end. What can I interact with out here? Lebel Kid. Where's the Lebel Kid? I don't see them. Tony the Bear keeps destroying our gardens. He's only got two moods, grumpy and angry. Oh, there's a kid on the bench. Sorry, I thought this was a sign. It's seeing creatures that are non-human that you interact with. Anyway. Have you been to the other side of the forest? There's a hot springs there, and a tea shop run by fish people. Tony keeps destroying our gardens. Got two moods, grumpy and angry. <laughs> okay, I'm forgetting in my excitement animating the voices here. Um, or voicing the lines, rather. Um, forgetting the things that he's saying. There's a hot springs and a tea shop run by fish people. That's a bit hard to imagine, but many things in this world seem quite fantastic, don't they? This looks like some sort of berry tree bush thing. So we got a well in the center. Can we interact? Oh! Okay, we can interact with the well, but I'm not quite ready for that. I got the bug! Travel bug! I can't sit still, I'm so restless, I want to travel the world. No, it's a long shot. I heard Winston used to build boats before he came here. Maybe he'll decide to build them again. Winston? Winston's a carpenter. He lives out by the river. He's a nice guy, but he mainly keeps to himself. I'm gonna reduce the volume again. It's, it's great, but it's loud. He's been caring for his sick wife ever since he came to the forest. We don't really know what's happened to her. Some of these names sound familiar, no? Wait, can I interact with this thing? How about this? Okay. It's still beautiful. Okay, so we go go up and down there if we so desire. But let me check out this place first. Whoa! Well, don't you look busy. Um, so we see a bunch of berries here. Some donuts and other food items here? Pies and donuts? Wow. What's this? Just a plain old table? Alright, so I suppose the only thing I can interact with would be... If you don't mind, I got a lot of food to prepare, not much time in which to do it. Wow, you two are tall. I guess you're not from around here, are you? You don't mind, Agala. Okay, same line. Interesting. A lot of familiar names. A lot of a lot of familiar names. It's interesting how how we experience the world here. I don't think we have the right tools to remove this bamboo. Oh. Okay. Got another table. What's this? Aren't you cute? Hey, 
kiddo. Welcome to my store. What's up? Lately, I've been thinking about getting a fifth cap. My husband isn't too keen on the idea, but he'll warm to it with time. Wait, these are cats? Uh, yeah, these are cats. Haven't you ever seen a cat before? What a weirdo. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what else is up? Oh, same story? Wait, I meant to try the other dialogue option while I was at it. That's cool. What's for sale? Nothing at the moment. I'm still getting things in order after the storm. But I might have some stuff later on. Oh, there's cat number four. What's this? This looks like some kind of poster. Or window. But probably a poster. But of what? I have no idea. But yeah, everything in this world looks so fantastic. There's donuts everywhere. It's like donuts are such a healthy food staple of the area. Tony came through here the other day, and he almost crushed all my crops. This bear has such a bad attitude. It dawns on me I can't use high-pitched voices for everyone. <laughs> Star Nights just around the corner. When I go this time, I'm gonna catch myself a pet fish and eat sweets. Star Knight? What would Star Knight be? Wait, I don't think we have the tools to remove these rocks. Okay, but can I climb over the rocks? You know, because I'm the bearer of the key and I can go any. Uh, never mind. It's wishful thinking this time, isn't it? Um. Some people, there are two f kinds of folks. Some are the more nice, but you still have to watch out for the angry ones. Z, 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 Z. Z, 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 Z. Alright. Wow. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, what are you? Hey. You aren't trying to take the seal berries off that bush, are you? Well, now that you mention it... Because they're mine! <laughs> wow. Um... Well, now that you mention it... Maybe? What's this beautiful, like, a cherry blossom sakura tree here? I really wish I could take something from it. Who's taking my berries? I'm taking your berries. Well, it looks like I took them, didn't I? At least it looks that way, because I don't see any berries there. So you took my berries, did you? No matter. They'll all end up in my belly one way or another. Alright. By orders of the evil chief, no one is allowed beyond this point until further notice. Hmm. We could probably just move this sign. Doesn't seem too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me. No one moves me. I'm here for your protection, you know. There are angry spirits beyond here. I think I'm standing around for my health. Oh, I, I didn't know. I'm really sorry. Apology accepted. Now get out before I change my mind. Wait, can I trigger that again? What I tell you earlier? No one's allowed beyond this point. The chief doesn't want anyone getting eaten by angry spirits. Well, I guess... I'm not going to let anybody get eaten by angry spirits, then. That is really surprising, isn't it? What a world. Okay, who are you? We're Chief Panky's kitchen assistants. It's a great job, but he works us to the bone. We just snuck out here for a quick break. Please don't tell him. We? 
Oh, I see. And you and you. Hey, you guys are new. Are you visitors? Or are you going to live in the forest with us? Star Knight's coming up soon. Boot there is so good. Chef Banky's freaking out because Star Knight's coming up and he has to make tons of food. But it always works out, so I don't know what he's so worried about. Fair point. Ten G. All right. Yep, just moving clockwise about the map. What's this? What are you looking at? It's cabbage, okay? You look like you never see anybody eat cabbage. It's cabbage, okay? Cabbage. Cabbage. Sweet, sweet cabbage. Uh, okay. You say so. Okay, so let's see. I'm not sure if you can see the things that pop up on top of the game. I hope you can't. Motorsaurus Cave. Enter at your own risk. Alright, let's do it. Hey kid, wait up. Uma! I hope you know. Those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You better take this. I received Morizora's cave map. Good luck, kid. Thank you, Uma. Wait, I was gonna give Uma Uma's... Okay. Fine. <laughs> Shows what I know. Whoa. Are you really going in there? That place is weird. This is actually a calm place, isn't it? This is such a calm place. A for a cave map. Okay. Nope, we're not consulting the map. We're just gonna do it. We'll do it live. But should we go explore the outside first? <laughs> you know, if Cave Bud doesn't trap us inside. Wait, I was gonna go back out, Cave Bud, damn it. Let me go. Or are you making it your duty to trap me in here? Maybe I'm making it my duty to trap you. Okay, so I want to get back out and explore the world a little bit. I do appreciate having the map for Lula, but I didn't get a chance to see, like, around the waterfall or the very bottom part of the map. I'd like to check that out before I dive too deep into this cave. I know the cave is ultimately where we're wanting to go, but... This is... the outdoor scene here is just so beautiful. Oh, cattails. And then there's some rocks here that bar me from entering this cave here. Okay, and I can't climb up the moss or anything stupid like that. Um, it'd be nice to interact with the fire. The other thing that I'm kind of curious about is could we, like... Wait, I was exploring the well earlier. Okay. How far can I get? Oh, I can jump. That's cool. Where can I jump to? Can I jump down, down, right, up, right? You found 10G. And some glowing crystal, which that's really cool. But apparently I can't... Hmm. Oh, there's a stone down here but no path off to the south. Alright. Can't jump right from there. Um, hmm. 
Can I jump to any of these other spots? Whoa! Oh, I, somehow I, I didn't even see these creatures here until a second ago. Well, it'd be cool to... Hmm. No one's home. Nobody's home. Alright. I guess nobody's home then. <laughs> wait, wait. Is somebody home? Two, one step. Oh, they're gone. Nobody's home. Very well. Can I jump south into the water? Nope. No water jumping into at the moment. Interesting. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll go back up then if nobody's home. Somebody's just a little bit more shy than I am today. Wait. Who said hi to this person? Well, well. What do we have here? A couple of fresh faces in Mozart's forest? What are you? What am I? I'm a Liebel, of course. What are you? I'm a dragon. Nonsense. We have dragons here, and they look nothing like you. Well... Unless you're some sort of special dragon I've never seen before. But I highly doubt it. Are you a pink cat? Excuse me, I'm a legal, of course. Cats talk on all fours and can't talk. What are you? I'm a great warrior. Impressive. Maybe you can help our blacksmith get his tools back. He's been hanging out in Rosara's cave ever since an angry spirit stole his tools. Well, well, what have we here? You're a lethal, and I'm a human. Hmm, is that anything like a horse? Well, all creatures are welcome here in Nebo Village, so feel free to make yourselves at home. So... I guess the cave is the only spot we can go to next. See, we got this guy... We talked with this one before. Facing up and down. Wait, can we not interact with one right now? Star Knight's just around the corner. They're gonna have a, get themselves a pet fish and have sweets. And that's the meaning of Star Knight. Whoa, okay, what's this? An emerald beanstalk sapling. Emerald beanstalk? Is that really a thing? A storm knocked over our emerald beanstalks. This means travel between here and the Skylands is on hold until we can grow some new ones. Half the village lives on those big islands up there in the sky. You should go check it out sometime. Well, once the sapling grows up, if only there were a way to speed up the growth process. Like, what if there were another world? Alternate universe, if you will. We're altering things there. We'd alter things here, but in completely unpredictable ways. I have a lot of time to think, okay? You don't say. We share this forest with the Envoy. Winston told me you could tell when Envoy spirits pass through here because it gets really cold. Have you been to the Midnight Tea Shop? Midnight Tea Shop? Really? They have wonderful tea. A nice Hangzhou Jin. A couple west of the Water Palace runs it. Wait, another sign? Morizora's cave. Enter at your own risk. Okay. Well, that one's not fighting back, but we're not trying to move it either. We already said hi, and this cave bud told us this place is weird, 
and wants to know if we're really going in. But where else can we go? Wait! What are you doing in here? I'm sorry. Is this area off limits? You know, it'd be funny if Mom said that with some degree of snark, but no, I think she's sincere about it. We were just looking for Marzora. Did we get the wrong cave? No, no, this is Morizora's cave. But you know it isn't safe right now, don't you? The envoy, are you? The envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless. They're just hanging around or passing through. But lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week, and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm so sorry to hear that. Eh, at least I made it out alive. What if we were just really careful? Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Morisara. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh? Oh my gosh! I was so caught up in thought. I didn't even realize you were, like, ten feet tall! We're not ten feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you, anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem, though. I know you're trying to reach Morizoro, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you need to get my, if you can get my tools back. The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box. Including my axe. We'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. Find them both, and we're good to go. Pretty straightforward, right? I don't know. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I have faith in you, my new human friends. I'll wait here for your return. Good luck. Yes, I'm sorry if my voice is dying a little bit. Music intensity changes a lot, which is quite exciting in the moment, but might challenge attempts at voice acting. Oh, I can't retreat back. Oh, now I can. Its mom gets out of the way. Yeah, let's try for the calmest path first. Who are you? Excuse me? Do you mind moving so we might get through here? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm too tired to move. Too tired. Aww. Are you so tired? Well, usually I love sw I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. Ah, it's a root shoot. But my tree's malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree got what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. How do we... <laughs> uh, I mean, I think of the old-fashioned way with fertilizer or something of that sort, but... I'd have to find your tree, wouldn't I? Is your tree even in this cave? I don't suppose it is. Alright, well, let's go examine things on the right. Turn water flow switch. Entrance above. 
Entrance above. How about that? Hmm. If only the purple creature weren't blocking the entrance. Okay, what are you? If my big brother forgets to eat, he gets so tired, he just sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. Alright, do you need food? No. Uh, what's the matter? So tired. So hungry. So hungry I can't move. Poor thing. I'm sure we have some extra food that we could give you. No. I can't eat horse food. Horse food? I need Sela apples only. From Sela Cave Tree. Hmm. Alright, well we found some... We found food in the overworld with Sela berries, but... Those, I guess, aren't the same as Sela apples. Do you think I'm beautiful? I heard. If you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? I don't think I've heard that saying before. Oh, must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. Thank you! You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. They're so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One's hungry for dirt, one's thirsty for water, and one really needs some sunlight. Uh, okay. I guess that's how Sela cave saplings work. Typically a plant, like, wouldn't have feet that need sunlight, but okay. But sure, we'll help. Why not? We're helping everyone. Because without that, what else could we be doing? Wouldn't it be weird if the game had some shortcut? The door is locked. Hey, do you have any water? Hmm, let me check real quick. Why yes, we have an extra bottle of water here. Would you like it? Oh, that's kind of you. I see, when I say water, I mean like a lot of water. Like a pond's worth. I drink a lot. Hmm, I don't think we could carry that much water. I understand. If you happen to come across any, though, yeah, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. Hmm. So, apparently, we've hit the end of this path start talking with more folks and negotiating and making stuff happen. Uh... Uh... Wait, if we got a bottle of water, can we offer it? Where are this, these feet, anyway? These are boulders here. This is... Yeah, I don't know where these feet are that you speak of. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Oh, wow. There's no ascending up there. At least, wait. No, this looks to be blocked in a way that I can't really... I mean, it's cool to see that. So here we see a sunflower. Seemingly with a label and a cave blood. But yeah, we'll maybe have to find another way there. Get some buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that is correct. It's locked. I 
least we have to hit these in some special sequence. Hmm. Any clues? I don't suppose so. What's off to the side? Oh. Okay. We still haven't encountered any of these feet. I don't want to go down the ladder just yet. Although I have some suspicion that that might take us to the other side. The other ladder that we just observed not too long ago. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Oh wow, what's this? I'm so tired. Have a long day. How do you do? It's someone's birthday today. Hello. Do. Do you think I can fly? When will Morisota wake up? Today's my birthday. Alright, let me try to remember this. So two whoops, sorry. I had a long day. How do you do? Alright, so two five eight. Two five eight four one seven three. Two five eight seven uh, six. Two five eight four one seven three. Ah, six. All right, this is gonna. I should write this down. That would make this easier. Uh, I don't want to torture my audience too much, do I? Nah, yeah, we'll write it down so you don't have to endure this with me. 25841 And then this was 7 and 3 and 6. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Then we'll go to the room on the left here. Push these buttons in the same order. One. And then the upper left is two. And then center is three. Is this a magic square? One, two, three. This looks like a magic square to me. No, because this continues here with four. And then five is the top. Six is the bottom right, and then seven and eight. Yeah! Wow, good eye. <laughs> you found the blue stone key. Well, I don't know what that means. I'm so tired. Today is my birthday. When will Morisota wake up? I think I can fly? Hello! It's someone's birthday today. It's strange how those numbers don't... Like, if you were to put them in some sort of uh, sequence for dialogue purposes, the dialogue doesn't, like, completely flow naturally. It's in at least in my mind. Because number 7 says it's my birthday today, and then 8 says it's somebody's birthday today. But yeah. Imagine the simple life just hanging out there all day with them. Imagine that. But no, let's move on. We see a ladder. Yes, we have a blue stone key, but what can we even do with it? Oh! Hello. Have you ever lost something that was really important to you? I was supposed to meet my friend, but I can't remember where we were going to meet. I have to find her before it's too late. I have to. Well, that's somber. 
please tell us more? Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. I have this really catchy song in my head. It's by this budding little indie rap artist named Little Buds. He's a sky bud. So he looks like me, but he lives in the sky. So good. What are you? Oh, I'm a cave bud. Not quite fully grown yet, but I'm getting there. It's so good. Oh, it's so deep. It's like about having to work every day, serving tea to rich buds. Having a high strung boss who wears powdered white wigs, wanting to make it as a hip hop artist. It really speaks to me. Alright, so... I'm a glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow big and bright. But lately, I've been having trouble holding my charges. It's probably all that stress from work. Just gotta take it easy, make sure to exercise, you know how it is. those. I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they are the envoy that Jackie talked about. Mom? Stay close to me, dear. It's alright, dear. I think they're gone now. Huh. Quiet moment. It's good to see that mom was there for us. Oh, what's this about? I'm brave, right? Mom? There's so many of them. I'm I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I will lead us through here. Alright, I'm not controlling it. Mom's in control. Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. Mom, we made it! I knew you could do it. Dark makes me sad. You found Tenji. <laughs> you know, I feel a little bad about just going up to the treasure chest and ignoring everything in the room except for the treasure chest. Um, but also, like, it's kind of weird that it, it offers Tenji. Anyway, it's so dark in here. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Mom says there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like sunlight. Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Um, 
Hmm. Are you able to go with us? Because that would be easier than... Okay. I don't know what Foot's talking about. The dark's great. Oh, same line. Sure is dark in here. It's kind of hard to see where I can go. But we're still not checking the map. We're still toughing it out like a normal explorer. But yeah, I think the north is the only direct. Yeah, okay, I can't walk around the chest. I have to go north. Oh. Whoa! Hey, it's the other end of the ladder path. Yeah, break that floor. Oh. Hey, kid. Do you come to listen to our guild practice? Uh, I gotta go. What's up, homies? Hey, yo. I'm trying to write a song, a loot solo. But I can play whenever someone gets good loot. <laughs> a word pun. Imagine that. <laughs> no holds barred. Sup, homies. All right, is there nothing? It's a beautiful room. Can I touch the fire? I cannot touch the fire. Have we here? Hey, kid. You come to listen to our guild practice? Uh, how am I supposed to emphasize that, actually? Um, so it's either practice as a noun or a verb here, and I don't know which, but guild practice. Oh! You haven't heard of us. We meet here every week to jam. We call ourselves No Holds Bar! With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Exactly three. Heck yeah! Get up, because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literally bards. Way to ruin it. Just kidding. It's a... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe some kids wouldn't know that. I wonder what it... The translation team must have had a fun time with that one. What are all the languages this game is in, and what... How does that translate across every language? That must have been... I mean, translation teams must have these sorts of challenges all the time, but still... Ah! That's clever. Lady, I like your style. It's like, down here, we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Out in the real world, he's gotta wear a suit and tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on electric loot. And then there's little buds. What's up, Bones? Spends his day serving tea to a bunch of snobby butts in the sky. All like more sugar, sir? Can I offer you scone? Only suckers eat scones. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa there, butts. Sorry. Sometimes I just gotta let it out. Hey, what's wrong with scones? I am offended. We all do, little butts. We all do. Challenge to the music. I hear you, flower. It's like I was saying, down here we can be ourselves and just jam. So if you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. No holds barred! Alright. Question. Can you guys, like, make a ladder or something so I can, like, easily get up and down here? Like, you guys are pretty cool. Good to see you again. Remember, stay strong, and don't ever let anyone tell you that you aren't good enough. Alright, but I seem to be cornered. 
And a lot of people are needy. And I would like to address their needs, but also I'm, like, thoroughly turned about. But still stubbornly refusing to check the map. I'd sooner ask Mom for help here than check the map. But yeah, it looks like there's not a whole lot I can do other than converse with these fine folks. Yeah. But yeah, a loot, for those who don't know, it's the instrument you're hearing right now, actually. It's quite similar to a guitar. I I don't know a whole lot about it. But yeah, you can hear like it has a clean sound to it. Something that sounds a bit, a touch like an acoustic guitar, but somehow cleaner even. It's a plucked instrument that has a variety of pitches. That's what we're listening to. So yeah, lutes are awesome. Uh, they're quite popular in the Middle Ages. Oh, wow! What happened? How did this happen? I'm so happy! <laughs> How can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow! Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not! If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course! Okay, but how did this come about? Empty. Oh, that's right. I took the 10G from it last time. Okay, so... Are you the ones who punch the holes in the ceiling? Did you bring me the sunlight? I am not sure. Maybe? Okay. So I'm not crazy here. Or maybe I am. Might have been an accident, though. <laughs> the best accident ever. I'm the happiest foot in the forest. Alright. Also, perhaps the most indifferent to the suffering of other feet. Foot in the forest, but... I mean, you're only a foot. What can you do? Do 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 Alright, well that was a cool place. Oh, the ghouls, or whatever. Who are wandering down here are not present. Interesting. Uh. But yeah, that one Liebel who mentioned, oh, parallel universe, where things affect other things in totally unpredictable ways, uh, I believe also made it into one of uh, Laura Shigihara's videos. I'm trying to remember all of it, but it was delightful. Oh yeah, now I remember the punchline. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's a funny video that's worth watching. Laura does many great videos. It's such a beautiful world here, isn't it? Alright, can we go up the waterfall? Nope. Um... So we're still navigating Sans map, but it's fine. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding little rap artist named Lil Buds. He's a sky bud. Yeah, we chatted, actually. Um, I assume I still can't go this way without, yeah, the tools. Tools to remove the bamboo. And then here's Sue. Okay. Poor Sue. Wish I could help. Uh, wish I could help. Hmm. Wait. Oh, okay. Sorry. I ascended out of that path with, where I didn't see a ladder. And then I found the ladder going down and I got turned about. So we already talked with these folks. So there were three feet. Each was suffering from its own ailment. And so, yeah. You already helped one of my feet. Thank you. 
There are just two more that need something now. Or that need something now. Alright, but I think we're kind of stuck now. We'd have to get apples from Sealy Apple Tree, which somehow grows in the cave, but I don't see exactly how that's possible. Alright. Yeah, 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 we gotta trigger switches, etc. There's so many pieces to this thing in right there. Um, yeah, and you won't move until, like, we cross with the goat and the fox and the river and the... Okay. I hear ya. It's, it's a fetch quest, but it's a beautiful area. gone north yet. I think we have. Yeah, so we can't go join the Buddhists up there. But this is the other way to view the same room, to know that, by the way, there's another ladder to get there, which encourages you go to go down the other ladder to pursue that ladder there. Now you are needing water. But you're not the one demanding a lot of oh. Maybe I just didn't try this? I'm confused. It's so hard designing a beautiful game with complex puzzles and such. Oh wow. Well there's a switch that I hope influenced the flow of water somewhere around here. Hey! Look at that! This is great! I can feel the water flowing up through the ground and into my toes. Did you guys do this? All we did was pull a switch. You gave me water! Water! I can finally be me again! Thank you so much! You know, if only all problems could be so trivial. I just went back up here. One, to see like if there's anything else to do. Two, to see if the music would change. Yeah, okay, the music did change. Okay. I mean, I'm glad to help, but... I, do I really deserve this level of credit for flipping a switch? Surely there were a thousand other things that led to this circumstance working in your favor. All I did was just flip the final switch, but... Okay. I guess you can give me some credit. Alright, now you're gonna tell me I helped two of them, right? Now, wait, since the flow of water changed, does this mean I'm able to... Wait, that's not it. So I want to go back toward the entrance where there are areas that were more covered in water that might not have as much water right now as they used to have. Because I might be able... Oh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get around. Because water still hasn't been drained here, right? So I can't, like, walk around down here and get up to there. Um, but that would, be, that would have been cool if that worked that way. Um, oh, wait, did the character here move? The character there moved... But I didn't remember feeding a tree. Um, but okay. The golems are always roughhousing. It's a major problem down here. They caused that rock slide the other day. The only good thing about them is that they smell like grapes. Why would a golem smell like grapes? Hey. I've never seen you guys before. You don't look like Liebels, and you certainly don't look like you're from around the Envoy. Uh, so you must be new. Do you have any questions? Do you live here? Yeah, I actually live right through that door up there. Unfortunately, some golems were roughhousing right above my front door. Now there's a pile of rocks blocking my entrance. It's terrible. Ah, it's no biggie. There's a pig living around here somewhere. 
He only eats mushrooms and rocks. I'm sure he'll clear this out once he comes around. You have any questions? What are you? I'm a cave bug. Along with mushrooms, flowers, and minimoris, we help keep the forest running. Any more questions? The envoy? They're between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, just spirits passing through. But some of them have grown overcome with bad energy, fear, anger, and hatred. It's those you have to watch out for. Um, yeah. Western water flow switch entrance above. Are you trying to get to the western water flow switch? Oh, yes we are. Well, you're going to have to find a way to move those rocks first. Do you have a pet pig by chance? Pet pig? <laughs> goodness, no. That's too bad. Pigs love rocks. A pig would clear those rocks out in five seconds flat. Interesting. Thank you for this information. Oh, wow. All right, goodness, this adventure keeps growing and growing, but we do need to break somewhere. Isn't this a beautiful room? But yeah, let's take some time, meditate on this a bit, and return. Um, so in the interim, let me go find my way back to the city and the save point. <laughs> or not. Ah, huh, look, it's a little onion. You call me a little onion? Oh, I'm sorry, you're much bigger than any other onion I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. Alright, fair enough. Bad attitude onion wins today. Went down the wrong path. Yeah, let me try to find my way back to the city. Back to the inn. And once we're at the inn, um... Yeah, we can say hi to the innkeeper. You still want to visit Morizora, right? Right! In that case, let's try to find the two switches. Oh. Yes? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're on an adventure. Mom's not saying no to this adventure. So... Okay. The adventure continues. Um, yeah, there might be some way to save the game through, like, hitting the escape key in some save menu or something, but I'd rather do it at the end. But that's okay if you can't do that. So what's your deal? Oh look, it's the kid who thinks I'm little. Well, ask, let me ask you something, kid. See these fists? Are these little? Uh, well... You think my fists are little? Well, uh, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists. Oh, look. <laughs> Kid who has fists that are really dumb. Hey, fists! What's 2 plus 2? What'd you say? You say the answer is durr. Wow, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> okay. I see. I mean, sometimes, I guess, if you're trapped in the dark, maybe things end up being like that sometimes. Watch your step, friend. Whoa! Okay. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen. Door is locked. Wait, but we have Uma's key, but that's... okay. Well, we could go back up the stairs there, but that's not it. Um... Wow, what an immense cave. Oh my goodness. Why are all these paths leading out? I wanted to go... I wanted to know just how deep you could explore into this cave. But it looks like there's so many paths leading up back a level. King Spore. Dude. 
What are you doing, man? You totally stepped on a rat shroom. A rat shroom? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Hmm. Come here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Nah, we're cool. I can tell you're good, little dude. I'm King Spore. These are some totally radical Shimeji guards. Together, we made up the Rat Room Preservation Society, or RPS. All around Morizawa's cave, there's a great battle going on. War between good and evil, between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone! Ah! Yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked! Surprised. For ages, the Rat Rooms and the Bat Rooms been at war. Rat rooms, like the poor little dude you just stepped on. Sorry. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you feel peaceful, or that make you peaceful, kind, and full of wrath. Rat room spores in the air mean we all get along better. Bad rooms, on the other hand. Oh. No! Bad shrimps are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude, gnarly, stuck up. So, little dude, I'll send you totally righteous journey. The RPS asks you help stomp out the bad while totally protecting the rad. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try my best. Awesome! Is that, like, your mom? Yeah. Moms are totally cool. Alright. So... Some crazy dude with a big mustache and overalls came out of here the other day and tried to eat me. He thought it would give him an extra life. I had to tell him, look man, you're not that kind of mushroom. The only thing you'll get if you try to eat me is a really bad stomach ache. Yeah. References. Whoop. Whoop. The door is locked. Wait, what's your deal? Nice view of the water from here. Yeah. No, disagree. Wait, is this also? Alright. So I'm not supposed to step on this one, but there's no other way out of the room. Strange. Just puzzle after puzzle after puzzle. But I still can't, like, access this or smash down the gate or anything like that. Can't climb over the fence. Whatever. I guess we have to. Well, no, we don't have to go back upstairs just yet. There's this other door here. Wait, these other shrooms. Okay, is it just that one room I can walk in with? I guess. Interesting. The bigger golems are always roughhousing. I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with the cats. Feed me rocks or trap floors. No? Then I stay here. Wow. Uh, um, but, but we need the pig to... Okay. This journey just keeps getting more and more complex, doesn't it? Mom won't even let us, like, take a break from it. No, I mean, we could hit the save menu, but where's the fun in that?
right, so we explore deeper into the cave, but we have to ascend back up. Unless somehow we just, like, progress down here. We did stop out more shrooms, but... As for whether those are the good or the bad ones, it's hard to tell. At least for me. Whoa! There's something going on here. So I guess bad attitude onion. I don't know, maybe if I stomp the right ones. Oh, something feels different. Okay, attitude onion. That's quite a name there, isn't it? I suddenly feel happy. Thanks for clearing the air in here. No problem. Yeah, if somebody's cranky, it might be a sign that they're just enduring a thing. Oh, woe is me. Hunger consumes me, my stomach so empty it aches. I guess if what doesn't have the luxury of it. How I long for the nectar of the forest, its life-giving ambrosia, that which pleaseth my stomach. Delicious, delectable, divine dirt. Well, you'd think there'd be a lot of dirt down here now, but we're in a cave. In addition to rocks, there... Well, in addition to dirt, there's a ton of rocks. Oh, I went down this path already, didn't I? north up there, and stuff happened. I can't step on this thing here, so it must not be step on it. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, slightly disoriented coming out of the cave. That's okay. Alright, so what's... Oh, can I not go there either? Wow. Mini Motori really don't want me visiting them. But maybe if I fall in the right place, I can actually get the treasure. How many times am I going to have to fall to get there? Nope, still not quite right. Hmm. Well, we're running out of incorrect places to fall. Is that the correct place to fall? You found the redstone key. Now there was a redstone somewhere in this cave, wasn't there? Was it up this way? Yeah. Found a redstone. Okay. Yep, we don't have the right tools for bamboo removal. What else is there? I know, this is hard to believe. But did you know, there's a pig living inside this cave. It's kind of insane. Lucky for us, they only eat rocks and truffles, not cave butts. Just between you and me. I never wish you being eaten by a pig on anyone, but... The pig had to eat someone in this cave, and I had to choose who it was. Well, I'll just be honest with you. I'd choose the truffle loaves. Okay, you're being honest with me. Sure about that? How sure are you? Because... I'm not sure they'd want to hear that. Did it even need to be said? Alright, so... Oh, man. I'm just gonna tell us use the map, dummy. <laughs> Mom would tell us that. But we found a path up and down. Oh. What? It's kind of like a harp. Or harpsichord, isn't it? I meant to say harpsichord. Or piano or clavichord or something of that sort. 
a fine porcelain cup is filled with muddy water. We have the most delicious dirt in all of the forest, and that's how it should be. We are the best mushrooms, so we should get the best dirt. Ha! If you come here to ask for our dirt, we're not just going to give it to you if you don't want to give us something in return. Okay, so what can I offer you so you can give me the things that other people don't like? That dreadful pig that lives down here only eats to- oh no. Rocks and us. <laughs> so barbaric. Oh. Hey look, we cleared a path for, say, a pig to go ascend here and say hi to them. All these sandwiches are just filled with dirt. Why can't we just take... Everybody would be happier if I were to just take some of those. Then, if I'm going to do what I'm about to do here. Oh. Okay. Can I go south first? Or does south take me somewhere I've already been? South takes me somewhere I've already been. Alright. At least now I understand how these things connect. Alright, so we can jump and jump and some- oh. Is this solitaire? This looks a lot like Solitaire. Oh, never mind. It's very similar to Solitaire. But it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Solitaire would require that you can't cross over your own path. Those rocks are weird. Why are they weird? Well... One time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get the other side. And as he jumped, the rocks turned blue! What's up with that? Weird, right? You don't say. You don't say. You found some pig repellent. <laughs> Who in this cave would want something like pig repellent? Oh, I see. Never mind, I'm not going to send the pig to go eat them. Probably. Unless I encounter the pig first, in which case I'll totally do that. Found 11G, and we're stuck up here. So we have to circle back around. Alright. But yeah, there's a good chance I would just use that on the pig and chase the pig into them. That seems like the harder course of action here. Although, I'm quite curious if the game would let you do that. Um, given that I did encounter the pig earlier, you know, I would be amused if somehow I could chase the pig all the way across everything and make it encounter them. But, that seems like something that would have taken a tremendous amount of development effort to make happen. Especially compared to the obvious solution of just offer a repellent to these guys who would really want a repellent. Wait. Wait! That pig repellent you're carrying? Ah! We need that! I'll give you a bag of our best dirt if you can give us the pig repellent. I'll even throw in some truffle perfume. It's so refined. This perfume would make even a lowly cave bud smell as good as us. <laughs> but stay away from pigs while you're wearing it. Otherwise, they might follow you around. Disgusting. Barbaric. Uncouth. Alright, you can have the repellent, sure. Now that uncouth pig will finally give us some peace and quiet. I wouldn't bet on that. Just saying. Alright, so now I gotta go... Yeah. 
I do like that cave buds tend to be just really open about their ideas. Uh, yeah, we still can't remove the bamboo. Uh, so now we gotta find that one foot that needed the dirt. Um, mm, I'm totally gonna have to check with my sources and like get back to you, man. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, don't step on the rat shrooms. Well, we'll see. <sighs> where? Oh, where? It's a beautiful cave. I like the cave theme. It. It really has the aesthetic of a cave, which it's supposed to have, right? Um, yeah. And caves generally are quite dark, and this is quite bright for a cave, so I'm impressed in that regard. But, man, who wants to be stuck in a cave? Wah, wah, wah. Come to feed me rocks or truffles? Yeah, I have the same question, honestly. Wait. Can I not just apply the thing? Okay, so... Yeah, I would apply the perfume... I don't know. How do I use... Like, Q is to interact with mom here. <laughs> People cave in when they're giving up. Oh, oh mom. Wordplay. Yay. Alright, I'm hitting all the letters on my keyboard. Um. Oh, I see. Item. Okay. Let's use the perfume. What's up, dude? Ah, you smell like truffalo. I follow you. Yeah. What's up, guys? Oh. Alright. Yeah, I now see that there was, in fact, a save menu that's easy to access, but now I'm too engaged. Now we have to see it through. I think the truffalos were up this way, right? And then they were down here? Sup, guys? Pig! Calm down. We have repellent on, remember? Oh, right. <laughs> Why truffaloos smell so bad? Oh. Wait. So I guess that wasn't the answer? Alright, so... The pig's gonna go help us eat the dirt or something. Boulders. Oh. Wait, is the pig not... Okay, the pig does follow us here. Um... Yeah, I'm curious where all the places we can take this pig. I don't think this was a dead end, right? I mean, there's a lot of things that don't entirely make sense. Because we're kind of wandering down in a cave, naturally, but... Yeah, we'll just keep turning and turning and turning. And eventually we'll find our way through here. We could use the map. The game repeatedly reminds us that a map exists. Ah, but... I don't know. I feel like if we were in this cave, we'd have difficulty reading the map anyway. Rocks! <laughs> yep, thank you. 
Oxium. Now truffle for dessert. All right, go enjoy chasing them down. My perfume faded away. Oh wait, if my perfume faded, does that mean the repellent also fades? Thank you. Now I can finally get into my home. Too bad for the truffles. Do any questions? Not now. I wish I smelled like grapes. Oh, tulips smell nice. There's nothing wrong with that. Eastern Watered Flow Switch. Oh. Really? Heh, <laughs> I guess that pig finally ate the rocks blocking our door. Someone needs to tell those golems to roughhouse somewhere else. You know, someone needs to not just be concerned about their own needs. Just saying. But you're a simpleton, so it's okay. Or is it? In any event. So we've taken care of the three legs. Now, this still didn't change the level of the water in the main area up there. So we need to go find the cave bud. Oh, were you the one needing food? A Sela apple. So I still have to go back to the main chamber there to obtain said apple. Um, so let's keep going. Alright, so I've helped all of your feet, right? Oh, two feet. There's just one more that requires something. So, the one that still requires something, I believe, is still in the west. Yeah. Oops, I stepped on a ranch room just for fun. It's not even a mistake at that point, is it? The ranch rooms are the white shrooms. Um. Alright, so we're just going in the loop. Hmm. How long did I glow that time? Two seconds? Five seconds? This song's about, oh yeah, serving tea to rich buds. <laughs> but living at night as a hip-hop artist. What's this rhythm? Tap, 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 tap. What's this? Oh yes, this thing. The Envoy. Uh, okay, back to the sunlight. We already said hi to you guys. <laughs> oh, it's no biggie. I have legs and can get up and move, no problem. This guy over here, though, he kind of needs the sun, so I guess it's okay if this one room is so bright. I love the light. Plants. Remember, stay strong. Don't let anyone tell you that you aren't good enough. Well, I know what I just said a minute ago. About needing to continue exploring and just keep going and going and going. But this actually seems like a relaxing point here. At which to take a break. So, how about we take a break, and then next time, we continue wandering the cave. The sands map. Maybe I'll break down and eventually check the map, but where's the fun? I just remember having played other games like Myst and followed a map and a guide, and, like, there's not a sense of exploration when you're just doing exactly what you're told to do. So yeah, let's break here. Hope that was fun. Thanks for watching, 
and have a good day.